Welcome to our Kidsburg KidCast. I'm Christine Sorensen. Is your kid lit by coding? I like how there's like no limits to do anything. It's fun and you can like use your creativity to make games. I like how you can like design what you would like for out of a video game. If your child is lit by coding, we're here with Stu McNeil of the Carnegie Science Center to find out first of all, Stu, what are some things that kids are learning when they're coding that isn't just coding itself? It's so easy when you talk about coding to focus on some of the obvious things like computer science, math, uh, even some engineering concepts. But generally, what we like to focus on often is sort of the intangible things, like the way of thinking. We often talk about uh, computational thinking, mm -hmm. thinking like a computer. What's coming next? What can I make this do? And even expanding that out into sort of a way of thinking about cause and effect. If I do this, then this will happen or because this happened, I can expect something else to come down the line. All right, so what are some things that parents can do to encourage their child's passion for coding? There's so much. I mean, there are little things like, I mean, you can get little things like toys. These are uh, one of my favorite toys. I'll set these up in my office all the time. These are little Ozobots, and you can code them uh, by drawing. So I have a little test track here, but they're actually reading the road that they're on and steering around and making decisions based on the, what's coded into the road in front of them. Wow. And there are also some books that can help? Of course. Uh, one of my favorites is Hello Ruby by uh, Linda Liukas. Great little book, great starter book, getting young kids into coding early on, um, and a fantastic one for girls, too. And kids can actually code online themselves, right? Absolutely. Um, one of my favorite things that I always try and recommend is a coding language called Scratch. It was actually developed out of MIT. Um, it's object-based. If your kids can use Legos, then they can do Scratch. You can do anything from make animations to steer a drone with it. It's amazing. And if kids want to learn a lot more, I know you have so many different kinds of camps and programs at the Science Center. So thank you, Stu. And you can learn a lot more by going to kdka.com slash kidsburg. We'll link you to the Kidsburg website with all kinds of great info for kids and families.